How to swap crypto in Ledger Live. There's two main ways that we can use to swap crypto. If you have assets that all exist on one chain, so for example, on Ethereum or on Base or on Optimism or Arbitrum, if you want to swap one crypto for another on those blockchains, you can use a decentralized exchange. You're swapping one crypto asset for another crypto asset on that chain. I'll show you how to do that. The other way is if you want to swap one crypto asset like Ethereum for a different asset like Bitcoin on a different blockchain. Those blockchains cannot communicate with each other. And so we actually need to use a centralized exchange. I'll show you the different options in this video. Firstly, then I'll show you how to trade on a decentralized exchange. If you are using Ethereum or one of the scaling layers or another blockchain that has decentralized exchanges, you wanna trade one asset for another. So we can go ahead and do that. Now the swap feature right here may not give you that option, which is really frustrating. So if you look at Ethereum, Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet, you can pretty much swap that into anything else. So as an example, if I click an amount to swap, you can see I can swap that into Bitcoin, but these are just centralized exchange options. That's not good for us. We can't swap Ethereum for Bitcoin on a decentralized exchange, obviously, because they are two different blockchains. They're not going to communicate with each other. Also, if you do want to trade one of your assets for another, you might not see it here or it's blanked out. You can't click it. Very frustrating. So what we're going to do is actually go over to a decentralized exchange within the Discover tab. That's going to give us all the options. So I'm going to go over to the Discover tab. I'm going to click on one inch. One inch is an exchange aggregator. So what it does on the Ethereum or EVM chains, uh, so essentially Ethereum, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, Optimism, Arbitrum, Base, you can actually swap one crypto asset for another on this decentralized exchange. One inch is also an option given, given to us in the swap feature on some uh, assets, but not all of them. So for right here, we're going to trade on one inch and we're using the application directly from Ledger Live. Now up here, it says change account. If you have any assets on uh, supported blockchains, you can see them all here. You may need to add in the account if you can't see it. So I've got some assets on the Arbitrum chain, which I've added in as an account. If you have it on base, click base. You'll see that I need to add the account because I haven't got that on my ledger live yet. If you need to add the account, just go ahead and do that. But you're going to choose the account that you have the assets on. So if you've got some assets on a chain, click that chain and it's gonna read your account and read the balances there. So we're gonna use this exchange aggregator. We can trade on Oneinch directly if you want to go to the application online, just go to oneinch.io, connect your ledger device with a Rabi or a MetaMask and you can do exactly the same thing, but we can trade it directly within the Discover tab as well. So for right here, I've got my Arbitrum account connected and what we're gonna do is search for the assets here. So I'm gonna click USDT. You can see that it reads two of my assets that I've got. So I've got these two. And I'm going to swap this USDT and I'm going to receive another token, which is going to be ETH in this case. Now, what we're going to do is check out the exchange rate. So $20 of USDT gets us this amount of ETH. You can see that uh, the gas fee and also a trading fee are going to be taken out of that. You can see all of those details right here. And what we have to do, because we're using a decentralized exchange, we're going to have to approve these assets if we haven't approved them before. That means you can see this lock here. So we're going to go ahead and swap. So give permission to swap USDT. Now you need to make sure that if you are using a decentralized exchange with a blockchain, you need to pay for gas. So you need some of the gas coin on the network that you're using. For Arbitrum, that's ETH. For most of the EVM chains, you're gonna be using ETH for gas, but you have to make sure you've got the gas coin of the network that you're using. So from here, I'm going to open my uh, ledger device. Make sure you have the correct application open as well because I'm using Arbitrum as a scaling layer on top of Ethereum. So I've actually got the Ethereum application open right here. But whichever blockchain that you're using, make sure you have the application for that. And then we're going to give permission to swap USDT. And we have to give permission. Like I said, this is a decentralized exchange. So we have to give permission uh, to the smart contracts. You can see that right here. So I'm just going to press continue. Obviously, your uh, ledger needs to be connected right here so that you can connect and agree with this. This is a blockchain transaction, so we have to go ahead and sign the transaction on our Ethereum application right here. And as you can see, open one inch, so that's fine. I'm gonna accept that. I now have to approve this transaction, so we're gonna sign the transaction. I'm gonna review this on my ledger device, make sure everything is okay, and accept and send. So we're actually sending a blockchain transaction here, and this isn't swapping the asset, it's just approving the asset for a swap. So you can see that's gone through. Right now, because that's gone through, I can actually swap this asset now. So USDT into ETH, I'm gonna press swap again. And then we're gonna to have to go through with another transaction to actually swap the assets. Right here, you can see all the information again. So I'm gonna press continue, just wait for this on my ledger. And then once this is here, we can see the details and then approve it on our ledger again. So yep, open the one inch app, and then I'm gonna approve this once we actually get this up. 
just to make sure that all the details are correct on what you see on your device and on your ledger device as well. So I'm going to review the transaction and know how much I'm getting, accept and send, and that's going to accept and send the transaction on the blockchain uh, and should swap the USDT into ETH. You can see that's successful, so that's gone through on the blockchain. So I've swapped the USDT into ETH and I've got a bigger balance of ETH in my Ledger account. That's the flow for trading one asset for another on the same blockchain using a decentralized exchange or an exchange aggregator. These are just applications. You can use them online directly or you can use them in Ledger Live. Now, if you want to trade assets that are completely separate on different chains like Ethereum and Bitcoin, you cannot trade this through Ledger. You cannot trade this through a decentralized exchange. The only way to trade these two assets is to send one of the assets into a centralized exchange have a balance there, swap it on the centralized exchange, and then withdraw the other asset on its blockchain into your ledger device. So essentially what we're doing here, sending assets into the exchange, trading them, and then sending them back out. Now, if you want to do this in Ledger Live, you can do, but all they're doing is going to push you through to a centralized exchange. So let's say you've got some Ethereum and you want to trade some of that into Bitcoin. It's gonna give you some uh, options here now, as you, as you can see, decentralized exchanges doesn't work because they're different blockchains. Centralized exchanges, we have MoonPay and we have Changely here. You should be able to see the exchange rates. And so that's going to put the best exchange rate at the top, which is this one, which is MoonPay. In my experience, these type of fiat currency on and off ramps, which is basically what they are, they're centralized exchanges. These are the most expensive ones. The trading fees are very high and they're slow and a bit sluggish and they're, they're not great. I would highly recommend having an account with the kind of top centralized exchanges. So Binance, Bybit, OKX, Coinbase, Kraken. In your region, you're going to have a centralized exchange that's going to be the top leading exchange, right? And so I would set up accounts with them. The trading fees on the those accounts are going to be anywhere from around 10 to 50 basis points on trading volume. Send the asset in, trade it, withdraw it. So what we're going to do, I'll show you an example of uh, Bybit here, but any exchange is going to work the same. So we're going to actually send the asset out. So we're going to go to send. And what I'm going to do is send some Ethereum. I need the recipient address. I'm going to go over to my centralized exchange account and I'm going to make a deposit of Ethereum from my ledger. So I've got Ethereum here. This is my exchange account. You can see ETH. This is the asset. And we're going to deposit this. The centralized exchange is going to give me a deposit address. If you want to get some deposit and trading bonuses on the exchanges I use, I'll leave some links below as well. The major exchanges usually give some sort of offer for signing up if you don't have an account, um, depending where you live in the world. So check the details below via those links. But I'm going to deposit some Ethereum and I'm going to choose the chain. Now, my Ethereum is actually on the Arbitrum chain, right? Because you, you saw that I just swapped some dollars into Arbitrum. So I've got some ETH on the Arbitrum network. So if I want to send that into the centralized exchange to swap for Bitcoin, uh, then I need to make sure that the centralized exchange accepts my asset on the uh, blockchain that I'm sending it from. I've got ETH on the Arbitrum network. So I'm depositing ETH here. I'm going to make sure they accept Arbitrum, which they do. You can see this Arbitrum one. That's the blockchain that I have the ETH on. So I'm going to click that and it's going to give me the deposit address. I'm going to acknowledge this is my deposit address. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to send the ETH out from my ledger. Back in my ledger device, we're going to send that transaction out. I've actually gone into accounts here, which is a bit easier to see all of your assets. Arbitrum, that's the account that I have that I've got that ETH on that I just uh, swapped USDT into. I'm going to press send and then we're going to send the ETH out. So if I click down here, you can see the assets that I've got. Definitely got ETH. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to paste in my Bybit deposit address and then we're going to go continue. We're going to make sure that we send out our ETH. So this is the amount we're going to send max. And this is the amount of ETH that we've got right here. And then we're going to go estimated gas fee. This is fine. We're just sending a transaction. So medium is fine. You can see the gas fee is around 19 cents. Press continue there. Press continue. It's going to show you the summary on your ledger device. It's going to show you where you're sending it. Make sure all of that's OK and then accept it on your ledger device. You're now sending that out into the centralized exchange. If you want to know how to get set up on centralized exchanges as well and how to do this, I've got a bunch of other videos linked in the description showing you how to open an account, send and receive crypto, um, and you know, get money in and out of those exchanges. Once that Ethereum hits my trading account, I can now trade that for any other asset that the exchange supports, and I can send that back out to my ledger once I've traded it. So I'm gonna go ETH BTC here, because I sent some ETH into the exchange, right? And so I actually wanna trade that for Bitcoin. So this one right here, this is the ETH BTC trading pair. So I have some ETH and I can sell that. So I'm gonna sell the ETH and I'm gonna sell the amount 
and then we're going to sell that ETH and we're trading against Bitcoin. So we're going to be trading that ETH into BTC. So sell the amount of ETH that you want. You can do that. And that's going to swap the ETH for Bitcoin into your account. Once you've traded into the asset that you actually want, we can now withdraw that from the centralized exchange back into our ledger account. There's a lot of steps here. But again, it's the same if you're using the swap feature. It's a centralized exchange there as well. So you're sending into the exchange, trading and then withdrawing. But I've got Bitcoin now because I swapped the ETH into BTC. So now we're actually going to receive that BTC into our ledger account. So accounts I'm going to receive because I'm in my Bitcoin account. Press continue and just obviously get the uh, device set up. So what it's going to give me is a deposit address for my Bitcoin. It's going to give me a new one every time. So if you're seeing your Bitcoin deposit addresses, you will get a new one every time for uh, privacy. Just check that the uh, device and the Ledger Live address is exactly the same. If it's the same, then you know it's the same wallet. So just copy that. And this is my uh, address that I can actually withdraw the funds to. Now I'll go back into the centralized exchange where I have the Bitcoin, press withdraw because we have a balance here now. And where do you want to withdraw it to? Go and paste your wallet address. So for me, it's Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain. So I'm going to uh, withdraw BTC. I'm going to enter the address right here. You can paste that in and choose the Bitcoin blockchain to receive it to. So that is how you swap on a centralized exchange, of course. I think that that is a cheaper and better option for assets that aren't on the same blockchain. You can, of course, use a decentralized exchange as well if you have assets on the same blockchain. I'll leave deposit bonuses to the exchanges I use down below and some other helpful videos on one inch and some other options as well. I'm James, it's Money's DG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.